Yesterday, there was an absolute bonanza of football news. And to be honest, you guys are gonna think I'm a little bit of a psychopath, but I kind of am a little mad at myself for not waking up earlier so I could cover all the news before the game happened. Because all I was able to get out to you guys was the information that pertained to Carson Wentz. Then I had to make my post-game video on the Super Bowl. Then I also had to make a video on how horrible of a cornerback Eli Apple is. And that left a ton of content for me to make today. As a matter of fact, you're gonna get so much content from me today that your notifications may get turned off. So just refresh your sub box or like this video to make sure that the video pops up in your feed. It's just YouTube saying, yo, you're annoying the living crap out of your notification squad. So we can't keep sending out these notifications. So before we get to the content, I want to let you guys know we're giving away 500,000. We're giving away $500 to a subscriber that turns on our notifications on the channel when we hit 500K subscribers. We're also giving away a follower on our Instagram page, $500 as well. And now that we get all that out of the way, break. Mike Chuck 1212, what's going on everybody? Who the hell doesn't know who Adrian Peterson is? I wanna know. We are not old enough to get to a point where people don't know who this man is. He is the best running back of the 2010s, an absolute electrifying athlete and an even more remarkable story. I mean, I don't think there is a better story than Adrian Peterson's 2012 season when he was coming off of a torn ACL, which back then you have to bear in mind was considered to be a career ender. And right when people were saying, hey, you shouldn't draft Adrian Peterson in your fantasy football leagues, he's washed. He came back and had his best season of his career. This man is an absolute freak of an athlete who keeps trying to play up until this day, is chasing record after record after record. However, unfortunately, there is some controversy that surrounds Adrian Peterson. The first thing is in regards to his financial issues. In 2018, he was ordered to repay a Minnesota bank for defaulting on a 2016 loan, which is kind of baffling considering how much money this man made throughout his career but on a separate note this man has had a history of very bad incidents there was this incident in 2014 where he was charged for negligent injury on a child which he was accused of using a tree branch to hit his son repeatedly on his back buttocks genitals ankles and legs now he would plead a no contest to that charge and avoided a jail sentence as a result of that but he was also put on probation and fined four thousand dollars and had to do 80 hours of community service as a result of that he was also also suspended by the NFL for the rest of the 2014 NFL season, which you have to bear in mind, that's a pretty significant deal considering that the NFL suspended Adrian Peterson during his prime. He was drafted in 2008. He was absolutely one of the faces of the NFL at the time, one of the most entertaining draws in the NFL at the time, and he was suspended as a result of it. Now, ultimately for the next eight years, we didn't hear much about AD mainly because he wasn't the player that he once was. He began the twilight years of his career from 2007 and on, signing with the New Orleans Saints, then going to the Arizona Cardinals, then the Washington football team, then the Detroit Lions, and then most recently, the Tennessee Titans and Seattle Seahawks this past year. But what was really strange is there was a report that came out when there was all this other news coming out in regards to the NFL and the world of the NFL that Adrian Peterson was arrested for a DV incident. So I wanted to take my time before I reported on this because there are multiple reports that are saying that different things are going on. Now, we're gonna cite TMZ at first in regards to this saying Adrian Peterson arrested for DV. Adrian Peterson is going to be in a jail cell this weekend because he was arrested on his way out of Los Angeles, TMZ has learned. Law enforcement sources tell us that the ex-Vikings running back was arrested and booked for felony DV Sunday at LAX. This after airport police got a call at about 8.30 a.m. over a disturbance on an aircraft leaving LAX and attempting to take off en route to Houston. We're told the plane actually had to turn around to link up with the gate again after an apparent verbal and physical altercation between man and woman. After a preliminary investigation and after making required notifications to the FBI, our sources say Peterson was taken into custody as the alleged victim was seen to have sustained a small mark from whatever happened indeed. We're told the woman is Peterson's wife, Ashley Brown. After her husband was hauled off the plane, we're told the flight was able to depart as planned, which included Ashley who stayed on board with the rest of the 
passengers. The two of them were in town the night prior, attending a Super Bowl event put on by DirecTV. We've reached out to Peterson's camp so far, but no word back. Don't worry, we got word back. We're gonna get to that in a sec. So here's the official report, according to Mark Berman, that says, in case you missed it, Adrian Peterson in a telephone interview with Fox 26 Sports on the incident that caused him to be arrested in LA, saying, I was literally mind blown that they took me to jail. They were like, I'm sorry, Mr. Peterson, but because she had a scratch on her finger in the state of California, we have to take you in. I sit there and watch the plane pull back and take off, and I'm just like, wow, I cannot believe this is happening right now. I'm going to jail, and I literally didn't do anything. It's blown out of proportion. Me and the wife got into an argument on the plane. That was pretty much the gist of it. I ended up grabbing her hand and taking her ring off her finger. She didn't press any charges. The state of California pressed charges because there was a scratch on her hand. Literally, that's why I went to jail, because the ring left a scratch on her finger. We just had a disagreement. I know the headlines, DV. You'd think I'd beat her up or something. It was nothing like that. Adrian says they were headed back to Houston for a Super Bowl party that they had planned. He said a passenger sitting behind them played a role in this. She kind of made it more than it was and brought more attention to it. Adrian said he was told even though his wife didn't want to press any charges or anything, we saw a scar and the woman behind us told us what she saw. This is what we got to do because it's a state law. Only thing I will say is it looks horrible because Adrian Peterson arrested for DV. I don't hit women. It's not that type of situation and it just looks bad. I'll deal with it and God willing, get the charges dropped and move on. It's really hard to comment on something like this, man, because I wasn't there. I didn't see the altercation. And here's where things get a little bit difficult because obviously the woman behind her probably didn't know what she was seeing. It's very difficult to judge the nature of someone else's relationship because there are women, unfortunately, that are placed in that horrible situation where they have a man that's actually willing to lay a hand on them. So that woman was trying to do what in her heart she thought was the right thing. At the same time, there was a chance that it could have been absolutely nothing. Adrian Peterson could have just been trying to make a statement saying, you are no longer my wife anymore. Take your ring off your finger. And as a result, the scratch was left and the woman behind them said, oh my God, something horrible is going on here. I need to step in. Otherwise, something bad's going to happen to Adrian Peterson's wife. It's really hard to say because again, I wasn't there and it's very difficult because each and every one of those scenarios are different depending on the psychological makeup of the individuals that are involved. So let me know in the comment section down below. I personally don't know what I would do in that instance because for all you know, Peterson's wife could have been screaming and could have had the attention of the entire plane. I'd like to hear what you have to say about this, guys, because obviously it's a very polarizing topic to get into. What would you do if you were the woman behind Adrian Peterson and Adrian Peterson's wife? Would you speak up about it or would you remain quiet because you think it isn't that big of a deal? Aside from that, I'm your boy Mike and I'm dropping our mic until our next upload.